Hello everyone and welcome to take five. It's Friday. Has your week gone okay? Uh, mine has been going pretty well. A lot of things trying to get done probably with you as well. And I hope that the words from the book of James have been effective for you as they apply to your life and whatever you're going through um, throughout the week and throughout your days. The last few days, actually all week long, we've been dealing with the issue of favoritism or partiality. He sort of brings it to a head in the few verses we're going to look at today. And the verses are chapter 2, verses 10 through 13. And he brings it to the head this way. We may have the tendency to say, oh, you know, what's the big deal? Okay, so I don't love my neighbor as myself as well as I should. And maybe I'm a little more biased toward that kind of person than I am to that. But it's not a big deal. I'm not killing anybody. I'm not committing crimes. And he does something very interesting. He looks at us and he says, you can't do that. You can't just pick and choose which laws that you want to apply to your spiritual life. You've got to be consistent because the law is all one unit. Listen to what he says here. He says, whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point, love your neighbors yourself, don't show partiality. Whoever keeps the entire law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. It makes sort of sense, doesn't it? You cannot pick and choose. Uh, Hebrew is one of my favorite commentaries in the book of James. Listen to what he says here. Our obedience to God's will cannot be on a selective basis. We cannot choose that part that is to our liking and disregard the rest. God's will is not fragmentary. The entire law is the expression of his will for his people. It constitutes a grand unity. Think of the Ten Commandments, a grand unity. You can't say, I like one through seven and nine, but eight and ten is right out. You can't do that. It constitutes a grand unity. To break out one corner of a window pane is to become guilty of breaking the whole pane. He who crosses a forbidden boundary at one point or another is guilty of crossing, having crossed the boundary. That's true with the law too. We cannot pick and choose that way. And so that's what he says. Whoever keeps the whole law but fails one point, that's me, when I, when I don't love my neighbor, when I choose I don't like that one, I'm guilty of the whole thing. He goes on, here's his illustration of that. For the one who said, don't commit adultery, also said, don't murder. If you do not commit adultery, but you do murder, you've become a transgressor of the law. You know what he's saying? He can't say, well, I'm really good at not committing adultery. I am so faithful to my wife, but I did go out and shoot that guy and kill him yesterday. Well, <laughs> you're guilty of the whole law. And you think, well, that's so extreme and so absurd. We're talking about something small, right? Nothing we would do. Are you sure? Remember, Jesus took those laws and he went beyond just adultery and murder. And he went to our hearts and he said, um, you've heard it said, don't commit adultery. And I say, don't even lust after another person. You've heard it said, don't commit murder. And I say, don't even hate another person. So let's apply that. Okay, don't lust after another person. I got that one down. Boy, I, I don't lust. I'm really faithful that way. But I sure do hate these people right here. The ones that are different than me. The ones that drive me crazy. Um, so I'm okay, right? No, 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 no. Though I might have lust under control, if I, ha if I don't have dislike or hatred under control, um, I've broken the whole law. And I'm susceptible. I am guilty of the entire law. So if I don't love my neighbor as myself, if I'm not showing mercy, I'm guilty. And how do I expect God to show mercy to me, even though I'm guilty of just that small little slice? Guilty of the small slice means I'm a lawbreaker of the whole thing. Here's how he concludes it. So speak and so act as those who are to be judged under the law of liberty. The law of liberty means I have the liberty and the freedom to do what's right. For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Wow. If I want mercy from God, I've got to be merciful. If I want forgiveness from God, I've got to be forgiving. Mercy triumphs over judgment. 
God in us, mercy triumphs over judgment. He shows us mercy because he judged Christ at the cross. If you've received that by faith, you've got it. Mercy triumphs over judgment. And yet, I need to be merciful because I've received mercy. You do too. I need to be forgiving because God has forgiven me. You do too. I need to love my neighbor as myself. No partiality. Good way to end the week. It ends this section. Let's love our neighbors as ourselves, and let's realize we're responsible for the entire law. Go into the weekend with that. I'll see you on Monday for Take 5 on Monday. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.